Hey everyone, welcome back to Enigmatic, back here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Free Trade Plus account, what it offers, how much it costs, and more. So, yeah, let's get started. So with Free Trade, since I joined in July 2019, they have been teasing a premium account of their freemium model of the service. So initially it was uh, dubbed to be the Alpha account, which has now been rebranded to the Plus and is expected to launch in autumn 2020. So I want to just go through some of the some of the features and my thoughts on this. I'd like to hear what you guys think about this and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So let's move over to the pricing here. So the free trade basic account offers free basic trades, free instant trades, and overall it is free. If you're gonna buy US stocks, they have a 0.45% FX fee. Um, this is standard across all their accounts. And if you wanted a ISA and you're not part of the free one, it's three pound a month, so it's not too much, um, and free withdrawal. So overall, I think the free account is great value. Um, ISA, not so much, but um, if, I, if I wasn't on another platform, I'd consider paying a three pound fee for that. So moving on to the free trade plus, plan so it has everything of the free account including even more stocks limit orders stop losses priority customer services stocks and shares isa and curated collections so in this i think the, the list is a little short compared to its competitors such as trading 212 um, which offers a lot of these as standard and free but let's dive into it and break them down so even more stocks this is one that i'm not keen on personally I think what they should do is introduce an exclusivity period for any new stocks that are added to the platform. They might get early access one week, one to two weeks, to be honest. I think that's more realistic. Since the way that they've described it is it's going to be behind a paywall and it's not great to be honest. So it's especially like if you're if you're using a basic account and there might be a stock that you want, um, which is behind a paywall. You don't know when you're going to get access to that uh, unless you upgrade to the free trade plus. So I think in the long run, free trade will probably lose quite a lot of customers. And I think that what would be better is if they did introduce that as a exclusivity period one week or two weeks i think would make a little bit more sense moving on to limit orders and stop losses so a limit order is essentially you set the price that you're willing to pay for a stock and then it once it once the share price falls to that amount the the it will just basically automatically execute it for the amount of shares that you want I think it's a good idea and it is much needed on the platform. Stop losses are basically, if your stock falls below a certain price, it will sell it automatically, reducing your losses if it, as if it falls further. Um, with that said, I think that is also a nice feature, um, whereas other competitors offer those for free at the moment. And it is standard. So I think those two should have been included as part of the free account because it's not really something that you most people would pay for i personally wouldn't pay for it not for a tenner a month but i would love to hear what you guys think of that priority customer service is something that i can find added value to but again i wouldn't be paying 10 pound a month solely for that stocks and shares isa um it's good that it's included which usually costs about three pound a month on the free trade platform so if you're already subscribed to that it's only a seven pound increase to to have the rest of the fees i mean the features so you kind of have to ask yourself the question is it worth seven pounds extra for the rest of the features so limit orders stop losses even more stocks and curated collections for me i personally don't think it's worth seven pound a month and the last one is curated stock collections which i think is interesting and a cool idea personally i think it would be good to have like you know you don't have it based on your investing strategy so if you're very into ethics and uh, the environment you can find those companies and those collections which i think is really cool but i think more importantly they kind of need to sort out their how to search stocks or even if you can search for collections would be kind of nice so if you could search for uh, a certain collection of stocks that would be cool which i don't believe that they have i think you just have to do the old-fashioned scroll a bit tedious a bit boring but i think if there was an option to search for collections that might be something that would be cool and um would be worth considering 
as an added value. So that being said, I personally don't think it's worth it to pay that price. Um, maybe if they cut it down to five quid a month, that might be a little bit more tempting, but obviously I know Free Trade are a business and they're not a charity, so they've got to make money somewhere. And obviously um, I do support them in finally bringing in a a subscription to drive that revenue as their as their platform has increased in a number of users recently over the last year i think when i joined it was around 30,000 and now they've got i think about 200,000 i'm not sure but that being said i am i'm i am happy that they've started to introduce a premium model which is good and good to see that they're starting to bring money in so that being said um that is good i'm I, what i'm really looking forward to is the much much more to be honest if they can bring out a roadmap of what features that they plan to do, is it going to be advanced analysis, uh, analysis recommendations, stock picks from certain analysis and stuff like that? Um, you know, even search by ratios, what uh, even like stock screeners or something like that would be really cool as part of the plus model. Then that might be adding value to the uh, to the account itself and the subscription then it would be worth it i think but i would love to see a roadmap of this um let me know what you guys think do you guys think that is this enough for you to sign up to the platform um does it add value are these features what you're looking for and are you willing to pay for that i can imagine a lot of people are quite heavily invested in the platform already that they probably built up their isa their basic account and they are and it's too costly for them to move i understand that and i think that is um worth considering then if you're willing to pay for those features um but then also if you're willing to sign up you can sign up uh, at the moment it's a invite only because i guess they're sorting out the teething issues for before they roll it out to the public in autumn 2020 so if you are interested you could probably uh, chuck your email in this box and request an invite uh, i'll also include the link in the description for this and if you want to read my blog post on this, you can head over to inkmatic.com or it'll be in the description below. And this is where I just go through my thoughts, my opinions and into a little bit more detail. But yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash that like button. And if you're interested in trying out Trading 2 and 2 free trade or stake, you can use my referral links, which are on screen and you'll get a free share worth up to uh, 380 quid. So um, yeah, that's about it. See you on the next one.